I just wanted to comment on how funny I find the situation in Canada. Canada should consider itself lucky that the major form of the protests against their incredibly tyrannical and hyper-corrupt government that I cannot fucking believe is still run by that crook Justin Castro, excuse me, Justin Trudeau. <clears throat> but um, they're, they're very lucky that, that nobody's out there trying to gun people down in the streets. Or they're very lucky, at least, that they're not experiencing extreme riots like parts of Europe and Australia and some other places are. The thing is, everybody recognizes now that regardless of what you believe about COVID or vaccines, one thing is true, that this crisis, this pandemic, has been used to create a massive transfer of wealth from the middle class to the 1% and to destroy any competitor to the biggest uh, global industries and businesses, all of the big international conglomerates, what a certain mustachioed man called the rootless international clique of predatory capitalists. And those same people happen to control the media that is trying to tell you that resistance is bad, that any kind of uh, civil disobedience is horrifically evil. Uh, if there's... One true thing that Donald Trump ever said, definitely the truest thing he ever said, is that the media is the enemy of the people because the media is the mouthpiece of the people who absolutely are your enemies. These big oligarchs that have basically taken over the West. I don't believe America is a democracy, and of course it never was. I don't believe America is a representative uh, republic, which it is supposed to be. America is a plutocracy or an oligarchy. It is controlled by wealthy elites. And those wealthy elites are using this entire situation as a weapon against us. We do not anywhere in the West that I am aware of have a government that is of the people, by the people, or for the people. The Congress, speaking from my own country, is basically just a company of paid off aristocrats who are looking to dick you over at every fucking turn they have. The current administration is a complete fraud and, a, and an utter clown show. However, I urge people to not care so much about Joe Biden. I know you know Joe Biden's name, but how about learn the names of who are the CEOs of Moderna or Pfizer? Uh, who are the bankers and the dudes calling the shots? Who's the guy who called and shut down game stonks last year? These are your enemies, okay? These are the crooks that are fucking us over. This is the reason why Jeff Bezos managed to gain money despite giving half of his entire hundreds of billions of dollars in net worth to his ex-wife. This is why Elon Musk has all the money in the world while the gas prices are going up. Everything is a fraud, okay? Everything is a joke. Everything is a mistake. You live in a clown world, and you live at the precipice of economic collapse across Russia, China, and the United States, and probably the EU shortly after those big three fall. I urge you to, um, where legal, arm yourself. Start, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Start uh, stockpiling non-perishable food, prepare like you're expecting a natural disaster because that is more or less what is coming, uh, artificial disaster actually, if you will, and uh, start saving your money, save your resources, uh, don't make great big luxury expenses anytime soon, the screw job's coming, and good morning.